So I'm using the Civilization 6 to test the temperature of the processors. This is before. Look at that 81. That's not good news. So we see the max. Eighty-six max, eighty-five, eighty-five, and seventy-seven. I don't know how long this takes. Eighty-eight, ninety. Look at that. That got a little exclamation point. Probably getting hot. Yeah, it throttles back, I think, at 90C. And benchmark results. So, and I'll try to cool off. And next, we'll take it all apart, figure it out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, there, look. Asus makes a pretty good machine because. Not that little top row of black and the little ones, those are just spares. But all those screws go to put this thing together. Uh, and they don't cheap out on the thermal paste. It's kind of like that Arctic Silver stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's the same thing or whatever, but at least it's better than the white garbage. So this is my Asus laptop. Uh, is it uh, G70, no, G752 or something like that? Or... Yeah, yeah, 752, I think is what it is. Anyway, uh, this is the NVIDIA graphics processor, and this is the central processor, the i7. So what we'll do is put thermal paste on here. Uh, you know what's going on here, if I can do it. And then we will have... Shoot, I have to... There we go. Sorry, I had to use two hands. Uh, again, this is another one-handed video where... You guys are going to just basically see a bunch of garbage, but I'll put the stuff on. <sighs> Hold on. I'm just going to lay it down. You'll see nothing for a second. There we go. All right. The lid was hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and now I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of thermal paste on. Do, 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 do. And those of you who are like thermal paste experts are going to be like, what are you doing? But don't worry, I'll, I'll spread it out enough. This stuff actually spreads pretty easily. It's a little gooey, almost like tar, but it won't. I'm just trying to cover all of the, the material of the processor like that. Basically just kind of half coat it, half ass do it. You can see because, and it looks bigger and more ridiculous uh, on the phone. Actually, in person, it's not really that big of a blob. I mean, this thing is a one centimeter by one centimeter type thing going on here. I mean, it's not big. Pretty amazing because back in the day when I first started fooling with computers and stuff, the chip, like the old 386s and 286s, Oh yeah, that's how old I am. Um, they, they, the, I mean, they were huge. The processors themselves were giant. Of course, you didn't have to worry about. You just put a heat sink. You didn't have a cooling system or you know any of that. Fans? What was that? Um, they just made them bulletproof, I guess. I don't know. Do do do. All right. So that's that. And this will squish out to the right uh, specifications it, it it's not it's not the thickest stuff in the world you know it's not as look at that it gets on your hands too um it's not it's not really hard to squish it out you know it's uh it's viscosity is less than say thermal paste normal thermal paste it never dries out that's another thing this jar here i mean that's 
that's not the most awesome way to store thermal paste, right? But this jar is about two years old, so it will never dry out. Uh, you'll always have good thermal paste. And you know, that, that was part of the test was that, you know, we had a shelf life. I dare you to do that with some Arctic silver or, you know, the silicone or zirconium zinc is put it out on a shelf in a jar like this, getting exposed to oxygen for, you know, no, it's about a year, year old. I'm sorry. It's about a year, a little over a year. Um, but yeah, I dare you to do that. I mean, it's, it's not going to happen. It's going to dry out. Hell, this stuff here dried out and this is inside the processor and also you know if i'm shilling for asus or anything they make a pretty good computer i think um so hey if you guys want to uh, try some of this out anybody wants to try this out let me know and we can uh, start making arrangements we can make an arrangement uh that's a little jim and sam reference uh and we can start trying it out. Now, the next video, I already did the splice of where before and the temperatures, and it got up to 90 Celsius on a uh, Civilization VI uh, AI test. You know, I figured that would be a pretty good, you know, range for the test on the processor. So this one, I'll do it again. I'll put this all back together, do the test. That'll be the next splice video. And then we'll see some results. Hopefully, uh, there'll be something cool. Um, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> ah, you'll be as surprised as me. How about that? All right. All right, I goofed up. So here it is. And it's running along. <laughs> there we go, 90C, like last time. Ninety-one pegs out pretty good there. But then it stays cold the whole time. Except for that one process. <laughs> it's going to make a liar out of me real quick. These are similar numbers to the previous. Uh, but if you notice the minimum, I've been trying to do this video i've ran this thing over and over and over but i keep screwing up and not doing the right benchmark test <sighs> but that being said i'll put the video side as a i'll do it where i put this video side by side to the other video or we'll, we'll figure it all out not bad not bad but the minimum you know starting out with already a high temperature and then going in that's that's not too bad there we go. All right, so here we are. Um, this is the most recent benchmark that won the video beforehand with 92, 88, 89, 78. The old benchmark is 90, 88, 90, 80. So we have a net of plus two, zero, so uh, one. So negative one degree Celsius is is the the temperature difference, except for the fact that two of the cores are pegged out up here, one core is pegged out here, but also note that the starting temperatures were different. The because I had to run this test actually a couple times, um, because I I suck at videos, um, but they were all about the same. So you got a 43, 42, you know, range instead of a 40 to 41. Pretty nice. Uh, you know, you're, you're a lot less heat added in there. Um, and that's it. Ta-da.